Hello, YouTube and beyond. I owe you an explanation. Who is Hater? Well, pater is the Latin word for father, and the root for words such as paternal, patriarchy, and pater noster. Pater noster. Pater. Pater no. Pa this one. I came across it when brainstorming potential artist names, and I was immediately drawn to this one. Why? I couldn't even answer that question for a while. But I thought long and hard about it, and when I realized why pater meant so much to me, it brought me to actual tears. Spoiler, it's a tale of gender expression. At the start of 2019, a lifelong dream of mine came true when I started playing with a band. Oh. For our first couple of shows, I felt nervous and out of place. I had no idea what I was doing and I felt devastated after every show because we hadn't blown anyone's mind. Around the same time, I started wearing button-up shirts and tying my then long hair back when I performed. This was a big deal. Why? Well, until then, I'd been told by almost every vocal teacher, industry person, basically anyone who felt like they had an opinion on music marketing, so everyone, that my biggest tool in finding success as a musician was going to be my hair. I was also told to wear tighter, more elegant, more feminine clothing, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I followed their advice and I made my hair the central theme of my marketing. I even felt the need to leave my hair down for every show so that people would get their money's worth. It wasn't always comfortable and as a result, I wasn't doing my best work. So you can see why forming a band, tying my hair up, wearing button up shirts and rocking the heck out was a big step in the right direction for me. It allowed me to take the next big step Cutting off my hair. Yay! I had secretly wanted to cut my hair off for eight years. It was an obsession. It was something I would promise to myself when I felt bad to make myself feel better, but I still couldn't work up the courage to do it. Finally, in October of 2019, while I was living away from home for work, I decided to go for it. I cut my hair. I was euphoric. Oh my God, I must've taken about 500 selfies that day. I felt amazing. <laughs> I had given myself permission to shed other people's ideas about my identity. I had given myself permission to own my gender expression. Aha! And because I'd done this and music has everything to do with expression, I decided I needed a new artist name. Then came Pater. At first I liked it because it sounded like Peter said with an Irish accent. Pater. Pater. That for me like invoked the image of a little 13 year old Irish boy running around fields and like being mischievous and stuff. Pater. And I kind of love to be that so yeah. But Pater, meaning father, as we established, came with heavier implications than that. That made me kind of insecure. Was I choosing Pater because I had daddy issues? It wasn't until a long and cathartic conversation with my mom, my mater, that I realized my fascination with Pater actually had to do with my experience with internalized toxic masculinity. This is where it gets a little complicated, so I'll try my best to explain. Let's go back in our mind's eye to 2010, so grade nine for me. Growing up and seeing men's accomplishments be rewarded disproportionately to women, that would stop. <laughs> Growing up and seeing men's accomplishments be rewarded disproportionately to women's, I came up with this motto that it's a man's world and if you can't beat him, join him. This wasn't me embracing the fluidity of my gender expression. This was me actively trying to take on toxic masculine qualities to gain an edge in what I perceived to be, and still is, an imbalanced culture. These were qualities like aggressiveness and aloofness or unfeelingness. I took on these qualities internally while presenting a hyper feminine version of myself externally. This actually worked for a while until I hit a point where my repressed well of emotion was starting to overflow. I had to go back and get back in touch with my then repressed feminine qualities of sensitivity and compassion to get myself out of a really dark place. Now, of course, this all came out in the music that I was writing. Themes of the tension between wanting to push down emotion and finding it bursting through at the seams. Now, you might be thinking, wait, so you had to liberate your masculine and your feminine? Like, wh 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 what? I'm not suggesting that's what you sound like. That's just what the critical voices in my head sound like. Kind of, they've, they've got a vibe. Well, to answer that question for myself too, I guess what I'm really getting at is the difference between gender expression and gender expectation. I had to shed both the masculine and the feminine gender expectations to get in touch with my true gender expression. There are a lot of toxic ideas, which are basically just ridiculous exaggerations that have been placed on either side. And I guess the work of it is trying to wade through that noise to find what feels good and healthy to you. And is it ever an evolving and continuous work in progress? So all this for an artist name? Yes! These are things that I think about all the time and I'm still trying to figure out as I think we are collectively too. Go us.
The music that I make is me. So I want my name, my moniker, to represent the silliness of the little Irish boy thing and all the emotional, conceptual, bigger picture stuff that comes with it. I want this to be the face of Pater. This. I want to repurpose it and make it my own. So hello, I'm Pater. Pater. I like to make people smile and sometimes I get really sad. Let me sing you some songs. Sam, Sam, Sam. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you even like the name? It's okay if you don't. But what I'm more interested in is your own experiences with gender and gender expression. I think it affects everyone, our mental health and the well being of our communities. So sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. And as they say on the YouTubes, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you very, very soon. And I'll be back in a jiffy. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm Jim Helper, different. I'm Jim Carrey. <laughs> Hot. And I will see you very, very soon. I'm still here. This doesn't, this is not a good exit. How do you end a video? Help, I'm stuck in my creative process.